Take a look at this brand new resin 3D printer by Elegoo, and no, it's not the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra, although it looks just like it. This is the brand new Mars 5 Ultra, and it shares some of the awesome features that the Saturn IV Ultra has in a more compact size. That's right, this is the Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra, and I've been playing with it for the past few weeks now and excited to share it with you all. Originally, I showed you all the Saturn IV Ultra, and I thought this was the hands down easiest resin 3D printer that I have ever used. Well, guess what? Those same basically takeaways apply directly to the Mars 5 Ultra. This is potentially gonna be the perfect entry level resin 3D printer for anybody looking to get started with resin 3D printing or if you're just looking for something that prints incredibly fast and is easy to use. Honestly, it's gonna be hard for me to come up with some new talking points because they really do share a lot of the same features and functions, just in a smaller form factor. The Mars printer has now gone back to its original roots in this square body here. We ditched the rounded edges and rounded body that we previously saw with the Mars 4, and I believe the Mars 3 3D printers, and now it's back to a more square design, just like what we see over on the Saturn 4 and 4 Ultra. But one thing that this does not have is that flip top lid. It still has the fully removable lid that you can take on and off. There's also a ventilation port in the back of that UV cover. It's also sporting the same vertical touchscreen and user interface that we saw over on the Saturn IV Ultra and all of the actual plugs and USB ports and the Wi-Fi adapter is located on the back side of the printer, just like we saw on the Saturn IVs. Now, the big standout feature, just like what we have over on the Saturn IV Ultra, is going to be that tilting that mechanism. This allows this 3D printer to print so incredibly fast. And the best part about this, again, is how simple it is to use. Normally with resin 3D printers, there are a slew of settings that you have to work with lift speeds, lowering speeds, uh, in between speeds. Right here, all there is, is you're basically setting the bottom exposure and your normal exposure. That's it. You can set a few other settings, but I have not tweaked any of those. And then the other cool factor on this is there are two print speed options. There's a fast mode and a slow mode that I'll be talking about here in a few minutes. The other great thing is the auto bed leveling functionality has made its way to the Mars. And surprisingly, there's been no loss to the build volume of the 3D printer to support this. It also has the same latch design to make it easily accessible to take that build plate on or off. There's also the etched build surface, which provides a really secure first layer. And we'll definitely be talking about that because your bottom exposure is definitely a setting that I would consider lowering with this new printer. I don't know if it's the auto leveling and that build surface, but man, prints grip so strongly to that new surface. This is also a 9K mono screen 3D printer that has a COB light source and it has a build volume of 153 by 77.6 by 165 millimeters, which again is the exact same build volume that we saw on the Mars 4 Ultra. Just like the Saturn 4 and the 4 Ultra, there are sensors built into this that are gonna help you make sure that your printer is running properly before your printing as well as during the printing process. This includes making sure there's enough resin before you start your print as well as if there's too much resin in there to prevent any spills or accidents from occurring. Just like you'll see here where I ended up having a little too much resin in the vat and it warned me and it wouldn't let me continue with the print until I removed some of the resin. That is really important to have on hand since this is a tilting vat and I know there were previously a number of comments suggesting, hey, I'm nervous that this thing with the tilting vat on the Saturn IV Ultra, what if it spills? Well, it's not gonna even let you print if there's too much resin in the vat for a spill to occur, which is a great thing in my opinion. There's also a built-in camera to allow you to remotely monitor your 3D prints and it's gonna create time lapses for you. It also says that there are AI capabilities on this, I have not had a chance to test those out or see how those work out. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure if those are in play or how well they work. So to be seen on those. There's also power loss resume, which is pretty cool to see. So if you end up losing power, you can resume your print. I should also mention that the VAT has the same design that we saw on the Saturn 4 and 4 Ultra with the dual pour spouts. Thank you so much. That makes emptying out your resin after you're done with your prints so much easier having them in both corners. And that rounded lip makes the pouring experience, honestly, so much easier. It's so much less of a mess. And with this printer and the high speed printing and tilting VAT, you don't need the ACF film, which I know a lot of people did not like previously, so this just is sporting 
PFA film. And since this printer is Wi-Fi enabled, it's gonna allow you to get automatic firmware updates when they're available. I think I've had two of those since having this printer set up. This also allows you to wirelessly send your print jobs directly from Chi2Box or uh, your other slicers that support that directly to the printer. And you can even remotely monitor your prints via the camera. And a quick note, this printer did come with a new beta version of Chi2Box. This is the free version of Chi2Box and it is a completely overhauled version of that slicer and I'm really enjoying it so far. The new UI works great. It runs fantastic on my Mac, and I'm just really overall satisfied of how this is working and functioning. I believe Lychee Slicer is also working on an update that will allow you to work with the Mars 5 Ultra. Now, the last feature I wanted to talk about before we take a look at any of the prints is the exposure testing functionality that's available on the Mars 5 Ultra and the Saturn 4 Ultra. This, in my opinion, should be on every resin 3D printer moving forward. This saves so much time and makes it so much easier to calibrate any resin that you're potentially gonna be working with. You have the option between choosing between four tests, six tests, and eight tests that you can run simultaneously on these printers. This is such a massive time saver when it comes to running your exposure tests. I end up taking about 30 to 40 minutes to run one exposure test. These are the cones of calibration. And with this new functionality that's available on these printers, I'm now able to run four, six, or eight of those in the same time frame that it took me to run one. That is a massive time savings. And I want to take a moment to say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. They are the, obviously the makers of the Mars 5 Ultra and the Saturn 4 Ultra 3D printers. These, in my opinion, are some of the best resin 3D printers that you can get your hands on, especially if you're new to resin 3D printing or wanting to get into resin 3D printing. The ability for you to get in here and just start 3D printing has made it so easy with how these 3D printers function compared to all the other ones that have come before this. And please don't consider this a review video since I am sponsored and it's probably slightly biased in my opinion of what I'm gonna say, but I try to provide as much input as I can of any issues that I've run into or anything like that. But honestly, this so far has been working amazing and I'm so utterly impressed what they've done with the Mars 5 Ultra. Also, if you're in the LA area, I'll be hanging out with Elegoo at their booth at Rapid TCT. I also neglected to mention that it comes with a drip tray as well to help prevent any resin from spilling out when you're removing the build plate and your prints from the printer. And Elegoo, I actually prefer the Mars drip tray over the Saturns that has your logo embedded into the bottom area of the tray, which is just a it, it, not the easiest to clean the resin out of. Having it right on the lip there, so much easier because everything's just a flat surface to clean up the resin on. And what's crazy to me is the pricing of the Mars 5 Ultra coming in at $270. You're getting some seriously amazing tech packed into this compact, basically, mini version of the Saturn IV Ultra. And what's most important isn't all the cool features packed in the Mars 5 Ultra, it's how it actually prints. And the first thing I printed were a handful of miniatures from Loot Studios that took two hours and 15 minutes to print. Now this probably could have printed a lot faster if I didn't include this much taller model compared to the other 32 millimeter scale figurines here, but the results look nice and clean on these prints. Now I have some constants in my life and one of those is Fotis Mint and printing some of his miniatures when it comes to my resin 3D printers. So this is his new Kaiju bust that I printed in the two different print speed settings on the Mars 5 Ultra. The first one took exactly two hours to print and then the second at the slower speed setting took two hours and 48 minutes to print. Now I wanted to see how this actually compared to the Saturn 4 Ultra and the previous Elegoo Mars, the Mars 4 Ultra. So I fired up that same set of prints using the exact same exposure settings on those 3D printers. The Saturn 4 Ultra using its fast print speed option took two hours and 17 minutes to print. And the Mars 4 Ultra took two hours and six minutes to print using a faster print profile that I have. Now I did try and print the Mars 4 Ultra with my Vroom settings and unfortunately the print didn't work out, but that printed incredibly quick coming in at the fastest of all of the machines coming in at one hour and 48 minutes. Now this really has me thinking, I have a feeling both the Saturn 4 Ultra and the Mars 4 Ultra can actually print faster than their fastest profile. Elegoo, I would love to see, again, like a rapid profile option that cranks up that print speed even further that people can experiment with and play around with. But currently there's no way to unlock that yourself as far as I'm aware of. Now here's where things get a little bit confusing on my end. I printed this Knight of Stature by Witch Song Miniatures, but 
This took four hours and 30 minutes to print and it could have printed significantly faster because I forgot to change the printer speed setting back to fast after I had set it previously to slow. Definitely something that you'll want to pay attention to when working with either the Saturn IV Ultra or the Mars 5 Ultra. But for whatever reason, I'm obsessed with this little guy and the model and the variations that they're making of it. And I really hope that we see more of this figurine. And finally, I have something turtle-tastic to show you. This is a Leonardo sculpture by Printed Obsession. It just looks amazing. I printed these with a Sorytech fast green resin that just kind of glows while it's printing, which is just amazing for your time lapses. But this looks so good hollowed out and cleared. I should mention that I used the auto support function in the Chi2 Box Basic or whatever this is, the free version that came with this printer and all of the supports were removed so cleanly from this. And then I didn't clean this in IPA just to retain that clear look to this. And as best I could, I just put it directly in the UV curing station and dried it. Now I ended up printing two of these as well because I wanted to have one that was fully supported to be able to show off and one with no supports. But again, I didn't realize that I was printing this in the slow setting. So I reprinted it a third time in gray resin. And this printed significantly faster again by just changing it from slow to the fast setting, adjusting no other settings whatsoever to the print file. And the details are so clean on this. And what I really like about it is how smooth the surface is. So you can see we're at the very top, you're seeing some of the very slight layering that you get from resin 3D printing at 0.05 layer height. One other quick tip for you guys, I just recently started, I don't know why I wasn't doing this sooner, but using a bin full of dirty IPA to first wash my prints and then using a clean bucket of IPA, work, my prints are turning out so much better by just doing that one simple step. Now there are a few things that I wanted to call out to make sure you're aware of, and the first of those being that the build plate on the Mars 5 Ultra, the same with the Saturn IV Ultra, is slightly lifted and that means that you're gonna have residue from your resin that's on top of the build plate surface. And it's kind of hard to get in there with a paper towel or napkin or whatever you're using to clean off the surface between changing resins that you might be working with. One easy solution around that is just to leave the build plate on its side on a silicone mat. And after about 10 to 15 minutes, most of the residue will have dripped away. Another with the build plate is that textured surface. Adhesion is definitely not an issue where you're having issues prints not sticking. If anything, it's sticking too well to that build plate surface. I'm starting to see the same thing on the Saturn IV Ultra where I'm really experimenting with drastically lowering my bottom adhesion setting in the slicer to something like 10 seconds versus 30 or 20, which I've used in previous 3D printers. That's gonna make removing prints a whole lot easier. Also, there is no heater in the Mars 5 Ultra. Obviously, I would love to see a heater included in this. Uh, Elegoo is gonna be offering an additional heater option. I don't know if it's gonna fit inside the build volume of the printer. Uh, once I get my hands on one, I'll definitely be testing it out on a bunch of different machines and seeing how well it works. And the last one that I've already mentioned, Elegoo, I would love to see an even faster print profile option on these tilting vat 3D printers. I really believe they can even print faster than we've currently got them set at. And I would love to see an experimental feature option for that. I'm really excited to see some of the advancements that Elegoo has brought to their lineup of resin 3D printers. And definitely think you should consider picking up one of these if you're in the market for a new resin 3D printer or it's your first time with a resin 3D printer. This is gonna be a fantastic option for you. Again, if you're interested in more information about it, I'll have links down below. There are also affiliate links that you can find down below that help support the channel. And I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making content here on the interwebs. If you're interested in things like the 3D printer settings that I use for the Mars 5 Ultra, you'll find those over in my Patreon. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all. And let me know what you think about the Mars 5 Ultra and it's tilting that. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Also, apologies for the background noise. Yeah, I have a slightly large print running here that I'll be showing off very soon. I'm really excited about this one.